Good morning, Bell Avenue students and families. This is Mr. Weeks, the teacher with the amazing hair, back with the Tiger News. Last week was the start of our district's distance learning program. And I want to say, good job, students. Many of you showed up to your teacher's Zoom meetings and attended class like a normal day. I did notice some of our friends having trouble finding their way around Google Classroom and turning in their assignments. So here's a quick tips and tricks video to help. Hello students, Mr. Weeks here, and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks about Google Classroom. Here is your home page, otherwise known as your stream. Here you will always see everything your teacher has posted, but it can seem overwhelming with everything they post. So instead of looking at the stream, always go to the classwork section. This is the section you are always going to want to go to to see any of the classwork that your teacher assigns. Here at the side, you will see topics for each of your lessons. It could be math, language arts, science, technology, PE, art. Everything will be in the topic section. If you want to go to a specific section, simply click it and it will take you to that section. Here, you will see any assignment your teacher has posted for you. Now, when you find the assignment, you need to complete simply click on the assignment to enter it when you enter the assignment you will have multiple options here is an assignment that is attached from your teacher once you complete the assignment you simply click the turn in button or marked as done do not forget students to always click the turn in or marked as done once you finish an assignment over here, you will see all the directions that your teacher gives you. And here are materials your teacher wants you to see. If you have a comment, you can send it to your teacher privately. Here is the best way to contact your teacher if you have any questions, sending a private comment. Class comments are for the whole class. If you wanna talk about, for example, that you liked your assignment or you wanted to talk about a resource you have found you can use this class comment but if you have any questions for your teacher you want to hit this private comment and type in your comment below these are just some tips and tricks about google classroom i hope it helps students and good luck out there in other news we have our segment student showcase showing off what you guys are doing at home here we have Audrina in Mrs. Galone's class, practicing her typing and then taking a break to do some art. Also finding time to do some art, we have Kendra in Mrs. Broderick's class. Way to go, ladies. Next up, we have some pet showcases with Chloe from Mrs. Galone's class and myself. Good boy. Tell him paw. Paw. Other hand. Other you have hand. to show him the other hand with your other hand. hand. Other hand. Good boy. Lay down. Hey everybody, I have three pets to showcase today. First up is my favorite cat in the world. His name is Tobias, and he likes to act like a dog more than a cat. I've had him for over 12 years. He is super friendly, and he listens very well. Next up, we have my dog Kira. She is a Shiba Inu. She likes to act more like a cat than a dog. She sadly is super spoiled and she acts like it, but it's my fault because it is so hard to say no to her cute little voice. Lastly, we have my cat, Cece. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like this one. Um, all she does is eat and she rarely lets me pet her, but I do like the other two. Next up, we have a book review by Miss Kalibo. Let's check it out. Hey Bell Avenue, it's Mrs. Kalibo. I just wanted to share with you one of my favorite stories that I read as a kid. One of my all-time favorite books was The Sideways Stories from Wayside School by Lewis Sacker. It's a story about a school that was accidentally built sideways. It was supposed to be one story high, but 30 classrooms in a row. And instead it was 30 stories high and each story had its own classroom. Each chapter in the book talks about some of the students and the teachers that are at the school and some of the crazy wacky things that go on there, like a teacher being able to turn students into apples. 
If you would like to read it, you can find it on getepic.com or you can download the Epic app and check it out for yourself. Bye guys. Fantastic. Next up, we have the weather with Paulina and Karina. Take it away, girls. Good morning, Bill Avenue Tigers. This is Paulina and Karina with the week's weather. This week will be nice and warm. It will be a great time to be out in your yard. The average high temperature would be in the mid to low 80s. However, on Tuesday, our weather will be in the low 90s. The daily nighttime low temperatures would be in the 50s. So put on your shorts and sandals and enjoy while we're still continuing to learn at home. Have a great week, everyone! Well, folks, that concludes this week's episode of the Tiger News. We'll see you next week, same time and same place. Make it a great day or not, students, that choice is yours.